New York Congressman Lee Zeldin. Congressman, good morning to good you. Good morning. Good morning. Great to be with you. It's great to have you as well. We're going to talk about the news of the day in a moment, but actually you are about to make the news of the day. What would you like to tell us? So I have spoken to New Yorkers from all across this state, and uh, it doesn't matter whether you're middle income, you're from upstate, downstate, uh, you're getting hit with new tax hikes now. Uh, it hurt about the public safety and cashless bail. Uh, so after talking to New Yorkers who feel like this is a last stand, a last great opportunity to save New York, and the fact that to save our state, Andrew Cuomo's got to go, I'm announcing here this morning on your show that I'm running for governor of New York in 2022, and we are going to win this race. I am all in. We are all in. Losing is not an option, and we have to turn things around. Congressman, what was the moment? What was the factor that you said, I'm going to have to give this a shot? I mean, a year ago, Cuomo looked unbeatable. He's going to run for a fourth term. Not a Democrat would, ch would challenge him. Now with nine accusers, nursing home questions, deaths and tolls that now looks like he knew about ahead of time with an AG and the FBI looking over his shoulder, uh, is that what made all this plausible possible? Yeah, and then you have this budget this past week where you create the highest income tax rate in the entire country. Why are you doing that? To create a new multi-billion dollar fund for people who aren't legally even in the country and in the state. So it's the attacks on our wallets, the attacks on our freedoms, the attacks on our safety. It's the deadly nursing home order and cover-up. Uh, Janice Dean has been absolutely fantastic. You, you've been covering it well. It's all of these scandals of abuse. It's the COVID testing prefer preferential treatment to his family at private residence with State Department health officials, front of lab uh, priority access for getting those tests done. Uh, listen, on so many different levels, that everyone is coming to the conclusion, whether you're Republican, Democrat, anywhere in between, that this guy has been there too long, it's time to go. This is the first time in my entire life that we have had one party Democratic rule in New York City, Albany, and D.C. And they're all doing their part to destroy their levels of government. We have to, we can't get complacent. Everyone's frustrated. You want to do something about it while people flee. Let's stay here. Let's fight. Let's return New York to its glory. But it's a combination of all of these factors. Is there a way, we have so many New Yorkers that are moving to Florida, so many people from California moving to Texas. Why? Because they don't pay a state income tax. And people can save money, put more uh, money in their bank accounts, send their kids to college and feed their kids. Better and weather. Exactly. Is there any way that we could do that in New York, have no state income tax? Do you plan to lower taxes at least to help these businesses that are really hurting? We absolutely have to. People are fleeing. See, the, the geniuses up in Albany think that they just raised the income tax rate uh, for New Yorkers, and now they're going to pay their fair share. What you actually did for many, because they're hitting their breaking point and they're fleeing, essentially you just lowered their income tax rate to zero because they're not going to be giving you any money whatsoever. People are more mobile than ever. Right. It's not just those who are hit with this tax increase. It's the, the, the family that has to get started either in their mom and dad's basement on Long Island or they can go buy a single family home in North Carolina. It's the senior who have spent their whole lives in New York. They want to stay, their family's here, but they can't afford to, so they're mm -hmm. heading down south. On so many different levels, it's the quality of life, it's the cost of living, uh, and I love this state. I'm still here, you're still here. Uh, we need to turn it around, sure. and uh, people are gonna flee every single day until we do. We've had a Republican as governor, uh, it was George Pataki, it was a while ago, and you have to work with Democrats. You have a military background, and to be existing in New York, you have to work with Democrats. So you have, uh, you've done all those things. We'll see if, the, uh, if there's enough Republican support or enough Democratic anger uh, to get you to that position, but I know no one's going to run harder. Congressman, uh, congratulations on that.